Hello everybody, so just a small screencast to help discover the, the new update site. Uh, so presenting some tools for Big Data Viewer. In the update site, uh, you can find the reference here. So once you activated it in uh, Fiji and it's not buggy, then you will access um, new actions uh, new tools for Big Data Viewer that will show up here. And one of these um, possibilities is to open several XML HDF5 uh, datasets. You can find here in the menu. And here you can open one or several of uh, these datasets. So if I press OK, uh, the data is not appearing directly into Big Data Viewer, but it's appearing here into a small navigator of uh, the sources. So if I want to see uh, what I've just loaded, I can right click and do show sources. Uh, there are a few options uh, that I will not discuss here. Uh, here we have only a single time point and I will not interpolate by default. And after it's asking uh, if you want to center the view on the source or doing a lot of contrast. So we can just let this on and uh, we get this sort of view. And for the record, it's already including the new uh, user interface uh, by uh, yeah, all these big data viewer people. So that's uh, pretty cool. And the old interface uh, that you can have by pressing S uh, is just uh, disabled. So, um, okay, we can increase a bit uh, contrast. So let's put uh, 200 here. Wow. And a bit too small. Okay. And we can just close this window here. And now here comes the option that uh, Christian was discussing. So you have actually several options to uh, export such a view. The first one is very simple uh, because Christian did it, so it's easy to use. Uh, and it's called a screenshot. And if we press here, uh, we have still a few options to specify. So the target pixel size unit in XY, and it's really the physical size of your output uh, screenshot. So here the units are actually millimeters right here. So if I want to have uh, 10 microns, let's say, um, per pixel in the output, I will specify like 0 0.01 uh, millimeter, which means 10 microns. And I can just take a screenshot, which will show me uh, some RGB data. So let's try to do this. It will take a bit of time because it's computing um, which is the MIP map in the pyramid level, which is uh, correct to get such a precision. So here we can see that, uh, oops, that, uh, that it looks uh, fine. And you see here we have uh, an export of one uh, 1,600 by uh, 1,000 pixels. And if we want less precision, then uh, automatically uh, it will fetch another pyramid. And now, of course, uh, uh, the precision is worse, but uh, it access the data from the right pyramid uh, level. In this... Um, action, you can also click show raw data. So yeah, let's do like this. We have a nice image. And on top of the view, which is an RGB view, you can access the real data uh, behind uh, as an image which contains uh, 16 bit images. And here we have three channels. And uh, so you can really access the, the raw data of um, these data sets. So that's for um, the convenient and easy command. And now if you want a bit more advanced uh, export, but which contain much more option, uh, there is this command here, which is called export. And you can export uh, the current view to an image plus. And right now you can specify a bit more what you want to export. So maybe you want to export only two of the sources. So I uncheck all sources and then you can specify the MIP map. 
So maybe I want the meet map uh, number three. And here there is no possibility right now to get um, uh, the meet map value. So the voxel size depending on the meet map, which would be nice, but that will be uh, in the future. And then you can specify to say, I want to match the current uh, BDD size, or actually maybe I want to do something smaller. I want exactly like five millimeter. Okay, I need to uncheck this. I want exactly five millimeter by five millimeter centered on this window. And here, uh, one of the main differences is that you can export uh, this stack. So maybe I really want a block of five, five, five. And time point is zero because we have only one single time point. And now I will do a voxel size of uh, yeah, zero, let's say 20 micron in XY, uh, but only 100 micron in Z. So then uh, you should do the computation. Ah, that's a bit complicated, uh, but we should be in the range of 250 pixels, something like that. And we can click safely parallelize export if I do not want to get some interpolation to really see the raw data, I can do this. And this will be nice because here I think we choose a meet map level, which is very high. So we should see really the, the block uh, of the pixels. And let's do this. Okay, and this is what we got. Uh, so we can go through the, and here you can clearly see that we exported the Z stack. And since we did not put interpolation, we can clearly see uh, let's see the pixels that are not uh, corresponding exactly to the image plus but and also we have only uh, two channels so that's one of uh, the two ways to export uh, big data viewer data sets uh, using this function